You know this moment when you're working on something and then a stroke of genius hits you, just poof, boom. If you're anything like me, over caffeinated and too excited, then you'll probably jump into the thing only to realize a few hours or a few weeks, month, maybe a year later that you should not have been pursuing that idea in the first place. Hello, my name is Renat and today we're going to be talking about the powerful concept of the idea inbox. It will help you declutter your brain while retaining all of the best ideas. If you're not subscribed to this channel yet, right now is a beautiful moment. And the key is that it is as simple as it gets. For example, it looks like the image on the camera is a little bit overexposed. So I'm just going to click one button and say, check exposure on camera. This is not something I want to be working on right now because I'm recording a YouTube video. Why would I ever do this? Okay, the truth is I, I do this quite often. Not anymore. David Allen, the author of infamous book, Getting Things Done, says that your brain is for having ideas, not for storing them. Imagine your brain has limited memory, similar to how computer's RAM would work. If you clutter it with all of the unimportant things, with pursuing a bunch of ideas, with storing them in your head, then you're not going to be using your brain to its full capacity to be executing on the task at hand. So writing down your idea will reduce your cognitive load. Second, acting on your ideas right the way would not only make you more distracted today, it will make you more compulsive tomorrow. And finally, the third reason to do this is that you can focus on what actually matters. When you have the idea, you are too emotionally attached to it. You're too excited. And the best decisions are rarely made that way. You want to take a week and see if you're still excited about whatever it is that you want to do. And if you are, you will see where it fits compared to all of the other priorities that you have at hand. And then if it does, cool, you can schedule it and put it on your to-do. If not, which most likely not, you are just going to forget about it and save yourself tons of time. Now let's talk about how you can set up your very own idea inbox. Personally, I love Notion. This is my single point of truth, and that's where I'm going to keep my ID inbox as well. But you can use any other app. It can be Apple Notes, or you can just shoot yourself an email with the idea. Here's how my ID inbox looks like in Notion. It's very simple, and the most important thing is to be able to create an entry very easily. So you can create a new, you can say uh, camera image is overexposed, and that's pretty much it. You just set it up for later. The key is to be able to create an entry as soon as you can. In my life, the best ideas usually come in when I'm not focused on the computer work, when I'm walking around or talking to friends. And to log a new idea, all I need to do is unlock my phone and there I have a Notion widget that's called Inbox. And just with one tap, I can look at all of my ideas and with another tap, create a new one. And I usually go through my idea inbox on Sundays when I do planning for the upcoming week. And here's another really cool thing that you can do. For example, the camera image is overexposed. It's not really a task. I need to quote unquote triage it. But there are some things that can be a direct task. For example, uh, do laundry. All right, so this is an actual task, but I don't want to copy paste text from this page to another. Instead of copy pasting the information or anything that you've added to the body, you can click on these three dots and click on move to, and then I have a tasks database. And just like this, this has become a task. You can set a priority, you can add a project, you name it, super easy and super neat. And now let me show you how to add new entries to your idea inbox with a simple shortcut. For this, we're going to be using Bardeen.ai Chrome extension. So here I have it installed and it's a workflow automation tool and we can build any type of automation. In our case, we want to create a very simple Notion task inside a database. Let's pick Notion let's create a new Notion page in the database. And here we need to specify the database. I've called mine inbox demo. Let's select that. And here we have a few different tags. It can be the name of your idea. It can be a tag, it can be a URL. So for the name, you want to input it every time yourself. So you can just put in an idea just like this. You can have as many fields as you'd like if you have any custom ideas there. And then in the URL part, for example, we can capture the current page uh, from where we created this task. You can think about it as geolocation when you take pictures. Pretty neat, huh? So I'm going to click on done and uh, let's do done again, call it inbox, uh, just like this. And let's go ahead and run this automation. Super simple, you can run it with a shortcut. I'm going to collapse it to sidebar and then I can just say uh, download Bardeen. This is going to be my action item. I'm going to run this. And just like this, a new page was created. You can view the page if you want to. Uh, let's go ahead and view parent. 
we have a new database over there, boom. And here we have Dan Lombardine with the link. So if you're going somewhere else, uh, for example, you want to figure out who John Bardeen is, um, let's go Google John Bardeen, just like this. So we're figuring out who John Bardeen is, doing our research. I can launch Bardeen with option B and then click on inbox, say uh, research uh, Bardeen, for example. Hit enter, hit enter again. And just like this, a new entry was created. And again, with this unique link. Let's take a look. Research Bardeen, and then here's our link. And the reason I love using Bardeen for idea capturing is that you can do some more sophisticated stuff. For example, we can go to the builder and we can add some additional actions. For example, the one I love is sending a text message. Uh, just this one, send a text message. You can send a text message to yourself with the name of your idea. And we can even include the link to the Notion page that was just created. So let's add the URL from the previous action. Here we have the Notion page and let's get the page URL. You can also create tasks in Jira, Trello, Asana, and many other places. If you like this video, you're probably really going to enjoy another video I've created about 12 Chrome extensions to turbocharge your productivity. Click here to watch it next.